<gasps> Whoa! <clears throat> and yeah, you're at the entrance in front of you, you see what looks like a couple of side entrances. To the left, there's a small way into the caves. To the right, you see a small stone staircase. That's not here. And right in front of you, you see a small wooden structure. It's set into the cave, so it's hard to tell how large it actually is. There's a small balcony and windows. It looks like this was somewhat the office or maybe some place for visitors to enter or similar. A bit different than I was expecting. Oh, you've been to many breweries before? No, but I just didn't really imagine they'd be in a cave. Oh, well, I mean, it's sturdier walls than building them yourself, I suppose. True. I guess it I? Dep depends on the terrain. There's oh. probably some caves that are <laughs> more prone to falling in. And... But, but this one was pretty secure. I mean, the walls were thick, and if we needed to expand, we'd probably just hire someone to come deeper into the mountain. Fair enough. Until the spiders became the issue. <clears throat> well, yeah. Of course. So, did the spiders come from outside or deeper in the cave? Well, we found them in the cave. Okay. We didn't think much of them and then they sort of multiplied quickly. There's some 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 cracks and some dark spaces I suppose they 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 hidden. Well, it's getting evening, but we could move in, certainly. I don't think it'll matter. It's a cave either way. What time, roughly, were we at again, bigger, right about now? What time? Is it, is, like, is it dusk? Is it... Like, early evening? Afternoon, still? So... From here you can still see the sun, basically at the moment, setting. Okay. But from where the cave begins, it's basically already nighttime, as the plateau sort of blocks off the rays of sun this high up. Okay. Right, um, well, we could either camp outside of, for the night, or go in tonight. What do you think, Trapper? Do you think we could set some traps out here? A little bit of bait, lure a few out overnight, thin their numbers a little bit before we go in tomorrow, or you think we just head in now? You see him study the cave for a long time. Hmm... I don't see any webs this far out. I don't think they range this far. Okay. What I've learned of spiders is that they're neither nocturnal nor day active. It's periods in between. I don't suppose we get any advantage from waiting, other than we could set some traps outside, but I don't think we would get any outside. They don't really keep to open spaces. That sounds like we're heading in. Sure. Yeah, I mean, we can... We can always, like, just scout a few rooms and then 
like yeah. get out and take a break after a while. We don't have to do everything at once, I guess. Very true. Should we have so, some uh, of our quieter individuals towards the front? Keeping an eye out on things as we move in. Slade just sighs. Okay. I can go with you, Slade. It's fine. I'm pretty quiet too. Three of us then. Quickly find Falcon for twos. I'll just use my generic villager NPC picture. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, it's no. you! <laughs> hey, what's our cook doing here? Hey, Billy Bob! Bill, aka Billy Bob. Butchering. I mean, it, it might be good to have a dune go up ahead as well. You want me to come with? Oh. I thought a dune. Uh, no, a a dune, yes. Else I don't know their names. <laughs> yeah, Feldim, uh. For now, you just stay back a bit, but uh, just follow us, but with a little bit of a distance in stay between. stay back towards the... <laughs> further back with the Feldom. Alright, you just scream, okay? Yes, yes. We'll just do. scream. I follow scream. <laughs> Good. And Adun heads up with you. Okay. Stealth. Stealth roll. Stealth. Sneaky. We're going in no sneaky boogie like. Bravo six. Oh, me. that's a what net one. Oh, oh, oh. 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 I'm going too dark, oh, no. I suppose. A twenty-four. Fourteen. Eight. <laughs> Yikes. So, the two of you up there, you move as quietly as possible. Very carefully you select the boards of this very rickety staircase that seem the most stable on this rock passage. Catherine, on the other hand, you hear behind you this creaking as Catherine and... Uh, Kuzma move up behind you very clumsily, almost casually, as if not trying to be quiet at all. Adun, however, doesn't seem too bothered by the noise you're currently making. Catherine, didn't you say you were, you know, not that loud? Right, listen, this, this staircase is not that fantastic. It's you can just, here, yeah, let me show you, you can just, and he shows her where to step and where not to step. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, also, Dune said there's not there's none out here, so. I suppose that's true. Just be quieter once we get inside. <laughs> huh. Checking if the door is open. You notice a small creek. And as you slowly swing the door open, how exactly do you open the door? Slowly. Okay. Just to see you hear if there's light inside or if it's dark. Or... The uh, tasting hall. It's, it's where we serve some of our product. And... Yeah, in front of you, you see indeed large tables, barrels, mugs, everything sort of flattered over the place as if a lot of people left in a hurry. There's still some bones and some rotten food on the table. None of it looks like there's been any sort of fight in here, but you can also see that at the walls, some of the webs are just sort of stretched thinly around this planet. So it seems that at the very least there have been some spiders in here. 
How's the light in here? Relatively dark. There is some light coming in from the windows from the outside. But further in, it gets pitch black almost. Are the other doors still intact in the back and sides or? Yes. Okay. You see one door at the back to the left, looking like it leads further in, as well as at the very back, and you also see a door to the right. There's also another door leading out to the balcony. I guess we saw the balcony from outside already, right? Ooh. <clears throat> Step in slowly. Looks quiet in here. I want to stay away from this web as much as far as possible. Also, I'd like to see if the, that net is just there in the corner, or if it's like there are some strings attached to further this away in the room. This web seems to be just in this corner, web to this chair. Mm -hmm. You also see a dune step a little closer, and after looking, someone following the way you're looking at it, sort of around it, he then reaches out his hands and pulls it apart. A small measure in his hand, he examines it more closely. And after a couple of seconds, he sort of disperses it in his hands and lets the remains of it drop to the ground. As you step a little bit closer, Evelyn, behind you, you hear... Did you hear scream? Uh, no, no scream. I just okay. thought I'd maybe go just up to the top. I'm not as fast as you, probably, so if there was a scream... No, of course, of course. Is there any... How tall is the roof in here? In here, probably about 15 feet at the middle. It sort of slopes down towards the wall to about 10 average. Is there enough light in here to see the roof? Yeah. The room itself is sparsely illuminated by, you know, uh, dispersed light from outside through the window. Anything sus on the roof? <laughs> <laughs> give, give me a perception roll. What Catherine is trying to say, ah, oh, there are spiders hanging on the ceiling. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm checking out. <laughs> very, very reasonable thing to check. Yeah. Fair. Uh, 25. You scan the roof, and even though there seem to be some webs in a similar fashion some of them kind of loose and just sort of hanging off of the ceiling you don't see any movement or any large objects clinging to the ceiling okay well how, how do you want to click Where, where do all these doors lead? Oh, well, the one to the right is where most of our raw material, our wares, get delivered from the outside. There's a large cave entrance way to the back of it. But, uh... 
Well, it, it lead. There's no direct way from here to this orange. It leads through one of the three bigger brewery halls where, you know, the big, the big, the big boilers are. Basically, each one of these doors leads to pretty much one of them. There's one to the left, one in the middle, and one to the right. Okay. The one to the right would be probably the closest one to the outside, though. As far as you were saying with the supplies and stuff. I mean, in terms of distance, I feel like it's from here about the same to each of them. Okay. But the the one to the right is the only one with direct access to the the storage hall, which leads directly outside. Okay. I, d I don't know why, where we want to proceed. It sounds like each of these doors go to, you know, separate parts. Uh, the three main brewing uh, stations. If we do want uh, um, a field him to stay outside, maybe he could position himself. It sounds like the one to the right um, has another access point somewhere outside. Um, I, don't, I don't quite know. Well, if we're going to clear out this place completely, we should probably go from one side to the other. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. And then maybe we could have a team trap the side we're going to last, if they try to run out. Or, or swing around our back or something, yeah. Spiders are not known to open doors to hunt. I would be mm. more wary of how complex the system of tunnels is inside. The uh, way he made it sound, it sounds like it. there's a lot of connecting storage rooms and boiler rooms. and It might be kind of complex. Is there any map? Right, too specific way over there. Well, we should just all just walk back. In. Well, we've never really made any blueprints of of the cave. We all knew the place pretty well ourselves. You think you could draw a rough map? I, I suppose. I don't really have any. Do you have any? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I have a, I have a book that I sketch in and stuff here. Hang on, I need to step outside to get some light, though. I have a notebook that's blank and a pen. A pen, pen. What thing? We're in the future. <laughs> what? <A> Muting pen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 We're living in a world with uh, fucking trains. It should be what? possible to do a pen. Don't sass uh, me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is there an issue inside? No, no, Tuspa is going to try to draw us a like, rough map here. Isn't Tuspa the map? <laughs> well, a paper map doesn't necessarily get killed by spiders, you know, so... <laughs> Might be better to have. How loud do you say this? Uh, Rat's not super quiet, so. Um... <laughs> I didn't think you that we seem were just to... sort of stop drawing the Mac for a moment, just look up in sort of <laughs> half shock. I mean, that's why you're drawing it. Though. Pat. The entire point of this is so that Tuspa can get back into opening up. So it would be a bit pointless. We didn't keep him alive. Exactly, which is why he's drawing a map instead of just walking in with us. Now that's a map. <laughs> map. 
kind of beautiful. Look at that. Now that's a map. Ah. Good enough for me. Oh wow, that could really come at us from any angle. Maybe we want to start from one of the. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. I mean, from one of the outside tunnels. Yeah. These markings over here. There's two doors from the. I suppose you call it a main hall. There's no boiler there, but it's likely where they're coming from. The these doors we 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 locked as we left. Um, they're heavy locks. Don't think they would have been broken open easily if, if they have been at all. If we, I I I do have the keys with me, but. It, it's not it's not a quiet thing but the the fourth uh, fourth boiler to to the right there's no dot locks in in that way it's probably where they came out in the first place mm, okay that's actually an idea we were to like set traps, you know, kind of pointing at this spot on the map, and then open the doors and then kind of go out for the night and see if we catch anything back in here. Or well, maybe we should be happy that they cannot get out of there right now and just have one. Just yeah, choke that could point. be too. You're not wrong. Set the traps up here. But they may be in those holes already. If you yep. don't uh, save us the route against flanking, I suppose, then we clear from farthest left where yeah. there's no chance of reinforcement. That sounds uh, exactly what I had in mind, too. Great. Instead of opening up the doors at all, just kind of moving through and clearing it out. Yeah. So we can't come up behind you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. So I think it'd probably be good to, if this room seemed relatively clear, we could probably have Felium come up here and just move at a bit of a distance behind the group. Mm-hmm, yep. Just head down this uh, left door up here. And on in. So yeah, let's light a bonfire in this room and whenever we open shortcuts we can just save the game. Um, Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I have enough swords. <laughs> I can't seem to get that feature to work on my end. <laughs> okay, so we'll start, we'll start on the left. I feel like, do we still You're take the... the do we still take the sneaky approach, or do we? It just doesn't really matter. Yeah, I feel like Ophelden can just, you know, walk f at the front of the group. Does it matter? Do if his you go job. Up through this hallway or up through this door? Cause I feel like either way you're gonna have to clear out those holes. Yeah. I feel like it's the left is a little feels a little bit safer. Sure. Not by much, but maybe a little bit. Okay, Feldim, you can do your job now. Be the oh, front of the group. Are. We don't know yet, but we're oh. gonna start searching on the left. Okay. Are these outbuildings here? Yeah. Well, maybe two spell you wanna, you know, kinda stay in one of the outbuildings that's uh, whichever one you think is safer. By the oh, way, Bega, what is what exactly is this? That's a giant rat, but it's not here. Okay, okay. I just didn't have time to <laughs> just uh, remove this. <coughs> oh, I need to light a torch. Last two spot needs to come I, with us, in which case you, um, could, you could stay with me. I, sh I, should, sure I should probably... 
I should probably come come with you. I mean, I mean, I'm sure you'll keep me safe. Just I need, I need, I need to see how it, how it is on the inside. And... Oh. oh, okay. But stay back, please. The last Just thing we back. need is a damsel in distress. I'm, t I'm gonna light a torch. Because I can't see in the dark. Reasonable. Funnily enough, me as a cat, I can't see in the dark too. What? That's weird. Yeah. The trade off for feline agility. Yeah, which is cool. So, quite a few webs in here, right? Yes. You see, Adun, in passing, sort of check some of them, just leaning towards them, looking at them, but he doesn't seem to be concerned in any way. Feldim, as he walks ahead, just brushes through them, any of them just sort of hanging in the way. I'm going to check the right here, because I want to make sure there's nothing lurking in this tunnel. I'm just going to check until I see the door. There's some webs covering the way, but yeah, you see in this webbed hallway the door. And nothing on the ceiling, the walls. Are the walls mm -hmm. high enough, uh, high, just as high as uh, the room before, like 15 feet or...? No. Here the tunnels are more ten feet. Okay. I'm still keeping my mind on the roofs. So yeah, I just check and nothing here. Safe. Mm -hmm. This look like storage or something. As long as there aren't spiders in the crates. You think there is spider in crane? Trap the spiders. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll listen to the crates and listen for spiders. You see a them crouch down to one of the crates and just stare at it intently. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't hear any spiders. As you approach the end of this small storage area, you see Adun crouch. And as you step closer, he holds up a hand. He looks intently into the darkness. You can't really see much from this distance, though your torch sort of shines a small beam of light into this area. At the very back of the cave, Somewhat illuminated by your torch, because it's very reflective, you see a massive boiler. The cave in this area is higher than the rest, and it reaches to about almost 20 feet in height. Did you see? Over there, in the shadow. No. no. Movement. At least one in this room. And over there, you see on the ground, to the right, webbing on ground. Webbing on ground is usually close to the uh, deepest part of the lair. Mm -hmm.
I try Isn't that to... where the door is supposed to be? That leads into the deepest part? I look at Crate. I don't think there's anything inside. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. What do we do from here? We saw one of them, at least, in the next room. Can I try to listen to see how many there might be? Give me... A perception roll with advantage. Perception. Uh, 22. You definitely faintly hear skittering. It's quiet, almost muffled, but it's definitely there. However, you're not an expert on spiders. It's hard to tell whether or not it is from one, two, or three. It's definitely not a lot of them. You definitely know the difference between a few and a lot. Mm. Okay. Unless, of course, there's more sleeping and not moving. Mm. Oh, we could, we could hold this check, this uh, like this hall. Try to lure one back in. I don't know if they'd come this way though. <laughs> I'm gonna use feline agility to just run one round through the room and screaming and hoping they will follow me back. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I think we are <laughs> at this point close to there. Web over there, look. Fresher than the others. We went back in hall were old, dusty, almost fall apart themselves. I think in there they will defend. Did we just go on the offensive now then? It is your choice. You could try and pick them off quietly for whoever can see if he can spot them and then pick these off quietly and some more don't come right away mm -hmm. sure I have, right. I have a hand crossbow but I don't think it quite goes that far so here no, we no. just fight no yeah yeah we'll just fight I'll just um, try to stay like grouped up and I'll just make sure it's really quiet in that area you hear a rustle of metal as you see Othello sort of <laughs> limber up, sort of loose. Don't don't yell though. Don't don't yell. You no your scream. Ah, oh, fine. Just for like six seconds until I can do the okay. thing. <laughs> okay. You see him crack his neck and uh, Adun looks a little bit perturbed as Ophelm just walks past, basically. Almost casual, just strutting inside. I'm gonna draw my bow. You see, you hear him, Adu, uh, Ophelm, sort of in the distance, just mumble to himself, no scream, no scream, no scream. So as, as soon as I see a spider, like, run out, I don't know, you know, if we need to do initiative, but I want to cast silence in, like, this area. Do I have the... hold on. Why do I not have... let me just... Break. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm readying my bow spines. with yes. one arrow at the ready. I will... activate my crimson right. Bells, abilities, radius... How large is the, uh... It is a 20-foot radius. 20-foot radius. Uh, so it should be just, yeah, most you can... of this. Gets. I take five That seems damage. good. Perfect. I'll lock it. So no one touches it. There we go. <laughs> Actually, oh, if so I So you can do meleeing in there if you want to. Yeah, this looks better. I don't like it when it floats too much. Yeah. 
should be quiet in that area, like center down where a Feldim So you, you trigger this as soon as you will see a creature, basically. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, as you see a Feldim sort of trot out into the middle, you see two spiders emerge. They're not that huge, hold on. Mm-hmm. Well, they're massive. They don't look too bad. That one looks all moldy. Not as ugly as I thought they would. You see one on top of the large brass boiler. Immediately it raises its legs and you hear a muffled sort of screech as they just skitter close. Hold on, why is this not... Hold on. Let me retry. <laughs> okay, guys. The music is called "We Are Alone." There's no spiders. We're good. Mm-hmm. Oh it's no! Like, I, oh, it's I see. Are right. we okay. It's just illusions. Mm-hmm. This is. There you go. Whoa! Mm. Spooky. Oh. And. Another spider emerges from the shadows behind the boiler, rushing straight towards uh, Ophelim. And just as you uh, cast Silence, you see Ophelim sort of hold his hands to the side, and he is clearly screaming. (laughs) You hear none of it, however. (laughs) And everyone, please roll initiative. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Initiative. Beautiful. Uh. Ooh. I'm always so terrible at those. It's a 19 plus something. Plus 4. Oh, I don't even have to erase this. It's Catherine goes first. Ha hoo ha hoo. Ha. Uh, ten, fifteen, more, more, about thirty. And I'm gonna slash at him twice with my kinda hot sword. Kinda hot what? Kinda <laughs> hot sword, because I use my crimson right and it's fire damage. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Get it with sense. fire. <laughs> kind of warm sword, I guess. <laughs> it's spicy. Okay. Two two attacks. I I don't know why I suddenly forget how to roll to attack. Okay. What is that D twenty about? Isn't that the hit? No, no, the D100, sorry, for my one. I just rolled it because. Oh, okay. <laughs> just one. 19 and 15, I think they both hit. Yes. Because they're plus 7. Ah, oh, shit. So then, a long sword. So 2D8. 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 Oh, wait, hold on. Crimson right. It's a D six, so plus two six. Okay. Ten piercing, ten fire. Five, 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 five. Plus. Just add them all together, please. Okay. And the spider, uh, it doesn't matter. Thirty six. 36 total? I believe so, yeah. 
36 damage. That is... Yeah, you were hit it with a flurry of heavy blows, and you already see it recoil. Do you still have your... Huh. Did you drop your, your torch, by the way, or...? No, I still have it. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 where is it, where is it? Because you, I think, you're attacking with both hands, so. A long, no, long sword one-handed. Okay. D eight. But add plus four damage to that. Oh wait, no, is that already calculated? I think that's already calculated. Never mind. Yeah, it is. Okay. So in your other hand, you're holding your torch. Yes. Okay. Because I'm blind without it. Rats. I said I cannot mock something on which I have cast silence. So let's blow a raspberry at it. <clears throat> I can see this one up here though. Yeah. I don't understand me, but I'll try the vicious mockery on it. Nice webs. I'll burn burn them all. Be scared. I don't I, I need a wisdom so if you can even understand me. <laughs> That's not convinced spiders can understand him yet, so we'll see what happens. How far we've come mocking the spider. Exactly. <laughs> like, I don't... Is this even a thing? Give me an intelligence roll in the meantime. Don't please resize. I did it. It was me. It was me. I'm sorry. I keep uh, clicking please. on the wrong things. <laughs> no. I think I, sh I, think I put it back. Huh? I think that. What is your DC? And yeah, this intelligence is 18. The spider from its size looks large enough that. It might speak a language. The way it moves, it seems aware of itself. However, oh. it doesn't appear to understand a word of common. Okay. Okay. Is that your turn? I need to get out of the way, but yes. I'm, I'm going to step back around the corner so I'm not in the way. Which means the spider move. I don't think it has to understand you. As a mild note, whether that's beggar's role or not. Fine. But I don't think Vicious Mockery, I think it just requires them hearing you. I think it needs to be able to, let me double check. I feel like we've it's specifically I, was, I just recall uh, I was yelling. If the target can hear you, though, it need not understand you. It must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Because I'm pretty sure I just yelled at a bunch of okay. crocodiles once as the bard. Yeah, so I wouldn't have rolled with advantage in that point, but 14 plus. Let's see if it has a minus. Plus one, so it barely still saves anyways. Appropriate to the situation. <laughs> <laughs> but good point. Adapt. Catherine, it attacks you. Oh. Uh, it bites at you twice. Oh, uh, no. Nah. Plus six to hit. Ooh, plus six. It's too strong. That's gonna be fine. It's not gonna oh. be fine. That's 25 well, that's and hit. a flat 20. Both hit. Please give me a constitution saving throw. Oh. The DC is 14. He is poison. <laughs> poison. Well, that's a fail. What'd you roll? Three. Plus two for five. Wait, hold on. It hit you twice. That Let's see what poison do. Uh, <laughs> it's paralyzed. Okay. 
you take, in case it matters, nine necrotic damage. Okay. And then sixteen piercing. So twenty-five. Yes. Ooh, <laughs> I'm <laughs> not looking good already. <laughs> wow. And out of the corner of your eye, up on the large brass boiler, you see the other spider move strangely. And after a second or so, you see it spinning a large net, stretching it with its many arms. And that is their turn. Wait, what the poison do? Or is it just extra damage? That's the necrotic. Oh, okay. Which means, is that a 9 or a 6, Jess? Uh, it's a 6. 6. Okay, that means, Soleil, it is your turn next. Okay, um, um, I think I'm gonna shoot the one on the boiler with two arrows. And try to, like, okay. I at least try and aim for the eyes, in the hope that it might stop the thing from doing weird spider things with webs. Yay! 16 and 11 to hit. The 16 hits. Okay, so one arrow goes in for 8 damage piercing. You let your arrows loose, one of them shooting over the target slightly. The other one hits the net, pierces through, and you hear chittering from the spider as it sort of screeches as you hit it. But the net on itself seems unaffected, and it doesn't look like you hit one of its many eyes. Was that your turn? <clears throat> I'm thinking. I think I will just... 10, 20... I'll try and get up these barrels. You see, with heavy footsteps, each one kicking up a cloud of dust, or Feldim charge forward, his mouth, you see at least today from the side, is still wide open, probably <laughs> screaming, as he swings in his one arm a massive staff, at the end of which are three flail heads. It's like mini morning stars. They batter into the side of the creature, and you see at least one of its many legs break. Can you quickly read up on Adun? Okay. Adun seems similarly careful as you are. He moves to the side and he seems unsure as to whether or not to engage immediately. You see him reach into his bag and pull out a bear trap and he places it down close to where they are fighting I almost erased all lines, oh my god oh no. <sighs> Jesus Christ thank god there's a confirm thing mm -hmm. there is a hunting trap here now he remains behind it and seems to be looking for more things in his bag. And with that, it is Ablin's turn. Alright, I'm going to move up a bit, just so I can get a good view. I can see this one up here. There's no, like, nothing obstructing that line, correct? Nope. Okay. Just the cone uh, of silence. <laughs> Alright, then I'm going to go ahead and shoot a hand crossbow at it. There's too much silence in the way. The first shot is... should hit. That's a... 23. 
Yes. And that's gonna be nine piercing damage, followed by a second shot, which probably is not gonna hit. That's only a nine. Yeah, that does not hit. Okay. And that is my turn. It sort of has its legs outstretched in front of it as it is spinning this web, and you shoot one bolt, it goes, then the sound suddenly stops, and on the other side, as it reappears out of this con, you hear it again as it hits one of its arms. You hear a small chitter again, but it seems unperturbed still spinning its web. And with that, we are back to Catherine. Oh! I wish I had a <laughs> Oh no. Actually, I do. Oh wait, no I don't. Do I? Flask of black oil question mark. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Never identified it, huh? <laughs> How awkward. Probably healing. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll just take two swings. Wait, maybe I'll kill it before it kills me. Um... Uh, Both hit. Oh, okay. Uh. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Uh... Nice one plus twelve. 12 total? 19 plus 12. 30, 30, 31. Oh, 31. <laughs> <laughs> 30, 30 total. Yarty, well, okay. damn it. You slice one, two legs clean off. It's still alive. It's almost uh, okay. pathetic as it sort of, you know, tries to stand up with the few legs that it has remaining that are not beaten, crushed, or sliced off. It seems to be barely standing, but it okay. is okay. Okay. still okay. standing. Okay. Bo... Is this a bonus? Bonus action. Blood Curse of Binding. Strength save DC 14. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. <sighs> well, <laughs> there I sit. <laughs> there I sat. Okay. Mm. Red. Hot back it. See Catherine's doing poorly. Bonus action healing word. my question. Does that or work in silence? I was thinking about it for a second. I yeah, think it could still... And then yes. it just goes. You don't need to hear the healing wand. Okay. Because it would still work even if you're deafened. As long as he's not in the cone of silence, yeah, the invocation sure, works. So that was eight healing to you. And then take another tactic. I'm just gonna play some like really discordant, really kind of irritating, like really high chittering on my citron here and try uh, the vicious mockery again in something that's approximate to their chittering, but really annoying. So okay. another save. You learned to speak spider. I'm, you know, I'm trying. Yeah. That seems to work. That'll be... Wow. Two damage. But it has disadvantage on its next attack. It does have disadvantage on its next attack. It stops spinning its web, but there's already a sizable lump of white stretched between its arms. But it stops for a moment and just... 
stares in your direction, many eyes sort of gleaming in the light of the torch. Okay. And then it is their turn. As Ofeldum sort of moves further up ahead, swinging wildly, the creature attacks him. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you didn't want another melee fighter there with you. <laughs> I didn't think I'd go from like nearly full to 11 health. <laughs> One turn. Also, to be fair, I'm also usually a melee fighter. Yeah. It claws and it sort of rakes against the shield. And as. Ophelden goes in for a swing, it finds a small opening and slashes at one of his legs. You see almost no reaction from him. It looks like he mutters something, but it gets lost in the silence. The other one, the other spider, rushes on ahead. Uh -oh. Into the cone. And red. It throws this net in your direction. As it flies through the air, it sort of this bundle of white net just stretches out. And oof, that is a nine. Hmm. As you sort of hold close to the wall. It falls short, instead clinging a little bit to the boxes to your side. The spider pulls the net back immediately, the boxes sort of holding on for a second, clattering over as it retracts the net, holding it again in its arms. And that is their turn. With that, it is Celeste's turn again. Yeah, I feel like uh, this is my chance. Well the spider is pulling back the net. I, I just wanna... I don't know how big it is, like, feet-wise. If I can, like... It's big. Go under it, basically, and try to stab it from below. In the weak spot that I discussed with Ardu <laughs> Ardun before. So there's not a lot of space between it and the ground. You mm -hmm. could probably get there, but it's kind of a... Trying to get under a car, kind of awkward stab. Mm hmm. So, what if I s would like start running and slide under it until I uh, reach the other side? <laughs> and while I slide under it, I'm just gonna stab his stab! Give me an acrobatics before you get to roll your attack. Mm hmm. Because it'll determine whether or not you'll do it at disadvantage. This is uh, 15, I'd say. 18. Okay, then roll your attack. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> crit. 16, oh. a natural 20, and a 24. The net is empty, so give me, please, three dexterity saves. Three, okay. Let me see, what's my dex save? Okay. Ooh. So that's a six. Fourteen. And another six. So, two of your weapon attacks miss as it entangles your sword strength in its net. The crit, however, goes through, piercing straight through the net and into its torso. Ten damage. <laughs> You see it recoil, 
but obviously with there not being any sound that's all you see or hear is there anything else yeah I think I'm gonna use the last bit of my movement to try and circle a bit around the spider so okay. if it attacks me it has to turn around and give red and the others easier access to vital spots or whatever You see Adun light a torch, and you don't see what he's trying to say, but he throws the torch in your direction. It falls a little bit short right on the ground next to you mm -hmm. as he moves further towards the spider, and that is his turn. Or felled him. At this point, looking rather angry, just reaches up with his staff and lets it fall down like a pillar that topples over and the spider just squelches under the hit. And he turns around, slowly stalking towards the last one. Ablin, it is your turn. I'm gonna take two shots at this guy again. Uh, first one is only a 12 to hit. That miss. And the second one is a. Eighteen. That one would be the nine eighteen hits. Nine piercing damage. Another bolt sticks out of its side, dripping its green blood as it sort of skitters around in a circle, unsure which side to attack first. Catherine. Uh but uh do but up to its head. which space is the spider in? Okay. Two swings. Can you give me the exact flavor of your weapon? The flavor. Well both of these miss. About the do you use that it's sort of a flame thing? It's mm -hmm. I guess it's on fire, but it doesn't emit a light source. What does the flavor text say? Uh, as a sing as a bonus, you activate a crimson right on a single weapon with the elemental energy of a known right of your choice. Okay, so elemental it is energy. elemental fire energy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I think both of these hit or uh, miss rather. What was the numbers? Uh, highest would be a 13. Yeah, both of those miss. Oh. You see it's sort of, its arms, like on the picture, stretch in front of itself with the net spanned between them, sort of jitter around. As you do, try to attack, it just skitters backwards quickly. It seems to be somewhat on the defensive. Uh, blood crystal binding. Make it strength save. I think I can do this more than one. You can invoke the blood crystal number of times for a short rest. Oh, okay. Uh, its speed is zero, and they can't take reactions until the end of my next turn. So I'm just gonna back away. <laughs> okay. And that's my turn. It was actually pretty big. Okay, it's uh, Red's turn. I'm gonna regret this. I draw my rapier and charge. <laughs> and that. Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, so close. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's fitting. You. Yeah. 
strike Seven. at it. And for a moment it looks as though it tries to do what it did before. Entangle your weapon with its net. But as it tries to move the weapon in the way of the attack, it sort of suddenly stops as if hold, held back by an un invisible force. You strike as you are surprised, still doesn't co it, uh, hit, but... Oh, maybe... <laughs> Do you disengage in any way, or...? I'm just running away. Um, okay, yeah. Dip, As you run dang. away, it seems almost frozen in place. And with that, um, it is surprise its okay. turn. And it throws its net at Selay. Do I um, make a save or does it make an attack roll? Makes an attack roll. Plus five. That is a natural one. As it throws its net, you strike straight down the middle of it. And the net, already damaged, just sort of rips in two and is gone. Can I just matrix dodge and cut it in midair? Basically. <laughs> nice. <Okay. laughs> And, uh, yeah, with that, it's already your turn as well. Yeah, I'm gonna try and give it my all. I'm just gonna... Gonna, just gonna... Just gonna attack it with all I have. It's a 19, a non-natural 20, and a 22. All of those hit. Right. Okay, that is my bad. That is Damn. twenty twenty six damage. Whoa. You let loose a flurry of piercing blows and you poke a lot of holes into its side. It seems to be looking very rough and it's sort of walking left and right, almost losing its footing every now and then. It doesn't seem to take much more. Is that your turn? Yes. This point, both Adun and Offeldim closed in and trying. And another blow into the side with a long knife and Offeldim just hammering down his flail onto the creature's back. It cracks and lies dead on the ground. And you are again out of initiative. I'm just gonna give it a little bit until I feel like I've felt them has stopped yelling. <laughs> He seems to be breathing quite heavily, but he doesn't seem to be screaming. Okay, I'll drop silence then. As soon as he drops silence, you hear, Ah! Okay. No, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. Better I'll be right back. Okay. I hand Adun uh, his torch. I made a mistake. I cannot blood curse more than once. Okay. <laughs> All of them are suddenly no I'm kidding. Nah. They are zombie <laughs> spiders. Yeah. You see a dual oh, trigger the trap. I you have an idea tank. for a monster. A hydra spider. Whenever you cut off one of its legs it grows two pairs. New. If only oh, no. I had us I had you guys get chased by one of those for a long while. Oh. You just never saw it and it never oh, happened. No. When? Remember that weird, like, when you found those dead, like, snakes in that forest? Oh. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. it felt like something was following you guys. Yeah, that was that thing. Oh, a hydra yeah. spider? Well, it's not really a hydra spider. It's <laughs> more. It's called a tracker beast. Okay. 
It's basically a spider, except no teeth, it's just all legs. It looks disgusting. Ah, I have to Google it. Okay. I don't think it's a... Like, I found a picture that fits for it. You can send it to you. Okay. It's not like an official homebrew or something. Which is a shame. Funnily enough, it's showing me Displacer Beasts instead. Nice Google. Uh. That was yeah, you see Adun almost immediately as the fight ends, walk around and study the nets, the webs that are strewn across everywhere. Ofeldim just stands there, breathing heavily and looking at the destroying spiders. So, any of, the, uh, any of these worth it? Like, cutting off stuff from them? Can you sell them? Mm, chitin always good for selling. Uh, bigger pieces, always... Uh, some people like to use for armor. Poison might be worth. I, I think we still need to clear out the rest before we think about it. Uh, yes. Here, here, here. <laughs> That's oh, usually do how it goes. Cure wounds, it looks like eight healing. Eight healing. Catherine's right? gonna be fine. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, can we secure this room? How can we do that? I, it looks um... like to the right, in front of where Adun is standing, past a very thick and very obscuring web. There is another room almost immediately. To the left you see webs all over the wall and floor, sort of almost like a tunnel leading further in. You can't quite see what's around the corner, not without stepping inside. On our map I suspect there should be a door there, is that correct? Well, I mean, that's what I'm guessing. According to the crude map that you have, yeah, there should be a door somewhere there. Two spots further back, still with Avelyn. Mm. What does it look like? A dune. As soon as you step close, he holds out his hand immediately, as if in warning. Oh. Careful. These nets... They're... Fresher. These ones, I think, are connected. If we cross through here, they will know. Can we just burn them? Uh, it's the same as crossing through. As soon as you sever connection, it snaps like a tripwire and vibrates throughout the system of nets. Hmm. I kind of look at Catherine, who's probably still bloody. Yeah, I'm pretty bloody. What, what should we do then? We could try finding another way around, but every time we see one of these nets, it's either alert or we avoid. Oh, well, I mean, we don't know how many more there are, but at least we got few, you know, without alerting every, all of them. You can't see much through this net. I don't see movement beside, behind this web. But I feel like they are there. Why else have net? Hmm. Kind of move up and I'll, uh, see if I can hear anything. 
give me a perception roll. Uh, 17. You hear skittering, but not from the direction of this whim. It's almost echoing a little bit louder than the skittering you've heard before from the other pathway. Hmm. I don't hear anything down there, but I hear skittering coming from the webbed floor bit. Which I feel like could mean perhaps the door is open. Uh, ooh, uh, uh, um, Kieran could check it. He he could like fly without touching the thing. Hang on. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Hey, ma'am. Uh, would you mind having Kieran check a thing up here? We're not sure if the door is open. Or she think, might not be back. Yeah. Right. Let's take a short pee break because Perfect. I need to go to the bathroom. So let's wow. take like five minutes or so and I'll be right back. Uh, that proves that Becca is a human after all. <sighs> he always had a heart. <laughs> He's just not showing it to us. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Uh. 